What's up, YouTube? Was this your boy KJV17 back again and in the kitchen? So today, I almost let this opportunity pass me by because I wouldn't think about it. I'm just worried about getting this uh, Sunday dinner cooked. And so today, I'm making meatloaf. I already got some uh, beans in on the uh, up on the stove top. So I was gonna use a crock pot today, but I went on and just did it old school style and uh, slow cooking them in the pot all day. The wife already got the cornbread muffins. I don't know if you can see that up in there or not. So, so I'm making this meatloaf and I think I'm gonna make some macaroni and cheese too. But let me show you how to make the meatloaf that I make. We used to do a pound of uh, chuck and a pound of uh, uh, ground pork, but we don't do that no more. So uh, we got a, a pound of ground chuck and a pound, a little bit over a pound of just regular ground beef. And so what I do, let's say for this recipe, you need two pounds of beef. Chuck would be the best because it's like less fat and when it cooks up, it don't make a lot of grease. Two eggs for, uh, I guess you say that's a binder. Uh, a packet of Lipton onion mix. The seasonings that you like, as you see, is a whole bunch here. You need the breadcrumbs, tomato sauce. I got some onions, some garlic, and um, green peppers. So let me get this stuff mixed up. And oh yeah, for people who like like the tomato sauce, but I like to make it sweet, just a little bit of uh, brown sugar. And I just mix that in my little stuff um, at the end and put it on there. So let's get this started today. Like I said, it's been a while since I made a a fresh video of me in the kitchen. But look at that, nice and red. You know, I'm country boy, so you know, I like to get my hands dirty. It ain't right unless you mix it up right. Make sure it ain't no shells up in there. Get the dump in. You can put as much onions as you want to in there, you like. I usually put a whole lot, but I stopped doing a whole lot of onions because I use the uh, Lipton onion mix. Shouldn't need that again. Go ahead and dump in the Put in breadcrumbs. I just use the eye. Let me pull in a little bit of. I do at least. Half of the can. I put that in there because you know it needs to be uh, kind of moist. Put to the side. And then my seasoning. As you know, I never measure anything. I just dump it in. If it looks like that's it, that's how it is. It looks like that's it. Paprika. What's that? That's paprika. A little red cayenne pepper. For the tastiness. A little black pepper. I say I'm making this old school style like I used to make. Wife hates it. It's old school style every time he makes it. <laughs> little uh, onion powder. If I can find out the look right side. And no, I don't hate his food. His food be good. He just make a mess in the kitchen all the time. What's this? Garlic, Garlic salt. Some 
parsley. Really, that smells good already. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff up in there. Some basil. Had some fresh basil in our container garden, but it's all gone right now. Wife it. Uh, got rid of all that stuff because it's really almost time for that to be gone. So I, and I, I say meats, especially beefs. Well, all meats, uh, basil, sweet basil, is awesome with it. So. You see me put a lot of that in there. And here is where people be like, ugh, but it gives it that taste. Chili powder. It just, it's something about it. It's good. I put it in meatloaf and spaghetti. Not a lot in the meatloaf and spaghetti, but it just gives it that nice little taste. Let's give it that right there. And now, like I said, I know measure nothing. He really don't. Just to where I think it looks like. That would be the right consistency after I mix it up. So. Come that back for like that it. little extra. Yeah. Now this is where you got to get down and dirty and mix it in. And people, you need to make sure your hands are already damp. And I already got my uh, oven it's set to 450. Uh, which I cook it at 450 for at least uh, an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, I cook it at 450 probably for at least an hour. And then I turn it down for uh, to 350 for the last 20 minutes. And that's where I put it on uh, whatever glaze you like. Some people like uh, brown gravy glaze, but I like tomato sauce glaze. And that's where you see I add the... Uh, brown sugar. I just add the brown sugar straight to my tomato sauce, you know, spoon it in and then pour it over the top last 20 minutes. That's why I, I put that on. With my hands up. It still sticks, but it don't be as worse when your hands are damn like that. I did add the tomato sauce for that, but I always do this too. We keep our uh, spring water on hand that we cook with. Just a little bit help and keep keep it moist. You don't want a lot. And that's how you make your meatloaf. You know, some people go, some people eat their meatloaf and then be dry. This ain't gonna be dry. Just gotta get down and nasty and make sure everything is mixed up. I know that looks nasty. That looks nasty. It's gonna taste so good. It's gonna taste so good. And yes, he sings all the time when he cooks. It's gonna taste so good. Mm -hmm. Let me get down with it. Uh oh, y'all saw me? I did have my own thing. I'm gonna be gonna be on the floor. <laughs> Fury over there, Fury over there, he know I'm cooking. Can't stand him in the kitchen. He know where the boundaries is. That's his boundary over there. I used to even let him come that far. He was fussing him all the time. He, he got that. He don't do nothing. He got that from his mom. He don't do nothing. He just lay there. No, he don't do nothing. He just like the smell. But I'm just smell. like that. I'm just one of them. Dog in the kitchen. We in the house, we in here. We in the house, yeah, but you know, hair and stuff like it. Let his hair everywhere. It's on you right now. It's always. <laughs> it smells good, y'all. You just smell this. I know it ain't even cooked yet, but the spices in there, mix with that is good. We just let you, I know you. Wish you had this smell of vision. Put it on there, baby. Go back and forth like smell of vision. This is very simple. Like I said, you put in like two eggs for a binder, two pounds of ground beef. If you like it, and really good, get a pound of ground beef if you still eat pork. 
and a pound of pork. And I'll do the same exact thing. Um, half of onion, uh, half of uh, green pepper, some uh, garlic, uh, season to taste whatever you like. But I, like I said, I put paprika, chili powder, parsley, uh, basil, uh, onion powder, garlic salt, uh, paprika, pepper, and a little cayenne pepper. Chili powder, a little bit of and breadcrumbs and some tomato sauce. And so, you see, you keep your hands down, it ain't really that sticky. A lot of people, you do that without it, I mean, I mean, it really be stuck to your hand like crazy. And so, I could make two loaves out of this, but I'm just gonna make one big loaf. My mom would sit there and make. She used to make the individual loaves. Like some small little round ball loaves. Small little round ball loaves. Yeah, they wasn't they just like little bitty. I guess they really like meatballs. And my grandmama would do that too. She would like break them all down. It'd be like make a whole bunch of little individuals. But I like to really make a meatloaf. And you just shape it up. Press it out. Shape right. Who y'all want? Y'all just come in. Who was y'all doing? What made y'all come in? Yeah, what? I told him to come on at four fifteen. That's good. I'm funny. Wifey know I'm funny. I just like for stuff to look a certain way. I know it may not look too pretty, but it's going to taste good. But that's my meatloaf right there. Like I said, I'm about to put it in the oven. I put it on the bottom rack. Like I said, I got the oven on 450. I took mine for an hour and 20 minutes. Uncovered. Sure, I get all this little meat that I got off of my hands. My wife would go crazy when I, so, you know, I put wipe my hands on a little tie hand and half hand stuff all over it. And she rolled eyes just then. So be it. That's how it look so far right now. And um, I'll show you the end product through the magic of television in the next hour. So until then. Voila. Peace. KJV back again, and through the miracle of modern technology, time has passed, and we have a finished meatloaf. Uh, I only cooked it for an hour, 40 minutes. Uh, on 450, then I turned it on 350 and added my uh, tomato glaze and let that finish. And uh, so, why I did, you know, I thought about it because, like, it used to take pork a little bit longer, so it's all beef. So I, I left off that extra uh, 20 minutes. So here's the finished product right here. Uh, look at that, get that smell of vision. You may say, um, but I bet it tastes delicious. Smell of vision. And these are the beans. Got a little thing on there, I made them. I made these a little sweet. My wife liked it a little sweet. They, uh, I taste them and they taste awesome. I uh, made some, um, I didn't make the macaroni myself, but if I did, you would probably be like, oh my goodness. But this is just uh, shells and cheese because it's quick and good. Like I said, she made the uh, cornbread muffins made out of Jiffy. And so that's what's on the dinner list for today. And let me recap how you make my meatloaf. You get two pounds of ground beef, at least uh one other pound should be a ground chuck as far as like uh, some fat content. Um, two eggs, uh, bread crumbs, uh, any seasonings you like, uh, onions, uh, green peppers, a little bit of garlic. Uh, I would put a little uh, cayenne pepper, paprika, uh, 
onion powder, garlic, salt, uh, black pepper, uh, and a little chili powder. Uh, and that's it. You see the results? Uh, I'll probably take a, probably plate one up and uh, see how, let me, let me plate one up as I slice one up for my son so you can see how it go. See what it actually really looks like. Something got a lot better in the kitchen, I guess. You know, I start cleaning up as I go. But I've been doing that for a while, man. It's better. Did you see this uh, meatloaf here? Let me get his uh, fork right here. He don't like that? Okay. He don't like that. Save them juices for me. <laughs> Get him a little bit of these beans. He don't make them eat a lot. Two spoonfuls, but then he'll be. He don't like a lot of real food. They don't like real food. They like all that crap. No, they like some real food. They still look kids. They don't like all the soul food yet. They'll eat a meal out of like pastas and stuff like that. He be getting a piece of cornbread. I like cornbread. So, this is how the meatloaf look. Completely done on the mm -hmm. inside. And a little bit of beans and some um, shells and cheese. And I will pass this over to Xavier to see what he says about it. He may not like it. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Would you like to taste it, the meatloaf, please? Even though you like meatloaf, and you always have liked meatloaf, and then all of a sudden, what happened was, Dakota stopped liking meatloaf because she got sick. Yeah, but you always eat everything. And then Dakota, was like, I don't like meatloaf. I don't like meatloaf. And so now she liking meatloaf again because now she getting them teen taste buds going on over there and she liking all the grown-up foods. Here will gladly eat everybody's leftovers. Look how he look. He ready. He ready. You Go ready, Fury? Eat. Ready to eat? Ready to eat, Fury? Stay. Well, uh. -uh. Well, that's it for now. I'm gonna give Dakota hugs. If Mom wanna film her tasting it, which probably not, but uh, uh, that's how I fix my meatloaf. And until next time. Peace, love, and, and hair grease. grease. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button to stay updated with Fitz Life 5 and my daddy's beats. Until next time, peace, love, and hair grease.